Hello, I am the Maskermind. Well, Saturday night I went and see Man of Steel. And uh, straight, I'm just going to straight up tell you the plot right now. Um, you know, everyone knows, you know, Superman is Clark Kent, comes from Krypton, he came to Earth. And then uh, Generals, at the beginning, okay, at the beginning of this film, General Zod betrays Krypton. I'm not going to tell you how it you get to find out yourself. I don't want to ruin it. But he uh, ends up, him and his army end up getting sentenced to 300 cycles in the Phantom Zone, which is basically a black hole. And that sequence was really fucking awesome. The whole, the whole 30 minutes was, like, the first 30 minutes was all on Krypton. And it looked incredible. But anyways, uh, you know, he, he ends up coming to Earth. Clark Kent, Superman, and um, 30 years, 32 years pass, and then ends up uh, General Zod has been looking for him for 30 years, and it explains how he escaped the Phantom Zone, but I'm not going to explain, and uh, and Krypton does get destroyed, and I like that. Anyways, I'm going to talk about that here in a minute, but General Zod comes to Earth looking for his citizen, who is, uh, you know, Cal el slash Superman slash Clark Kent and um, looking for a citizen he wants him back and he has this plan that he's going to change the, the, the whole uh, the planet's geographic uh, atmosphere by turning it into Krypton basically by uh, he's got this, these two these two ships called the World Engines and they basically change Earth's atmosphere and geographic shape in exactly the way Krypton was. And uh, that's pretty much the plot. This movie is possibly the best movie I've seen. It was that good. Uh, I won't even lie, I did kind of cry. At the, like When me and my friend went out, went out to eat afterwards, I, I did kind of cry. I did. It, this movie was fucking awesome. This was not just a movie. This was an event. It's almost like going to a concert and seeing your idol. I'm serious. This movie was that damn good. Uh, fuck the critics who said this movie sucks. Fuck people who... who fuck the amateurs who think it sucks. I loved it. You know, if you think it sucks, that's your opinion, you know. But whatever. Fuck you, but... <laughs> I'm just kidding, but... Anyways, uh... This movie was perfect, perfectly done, I thought. The CGI was just incredible. Uh, granted, you know, there was a few scenes where you could tell it was CGI, but it was just so quick and so fast that it was just, it was the next scene already, and you didn't even have time to realize that that's, that it was CGI. But I noticed it, and uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. But the, the, the scene, the, the sequence that really stuck out to me was, Krypton. The 30 minutes at the beginning was all on Krypton, and that just blew me away. It was awesome. It made this planet look like it was just massive, huge world with just it was just net. It was awesome. Like he had, he got on this creature, or Jarrell got on this like flying creature, and I like how they have these native animals and stuff. And he he started soaring down, and there was these like networks of beams and archways made of rock and everything. It was really cool. I really liked how they made this world look massive. It was just incredible. And General Zod in this movie was fucking brutal. He was just awesome. Intimidating. Scary. I, th I thought he was just a scary fucking dude. Um, he had all the powers that Superman had, of course. You know, laser vision, flying, uh, incredible strength, you know, just like, just like Superman, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go back to the beginning a little bit. Like, when he's coming down to Earth in his pod, it shows him going toward the ground. And right right before he hits the ground, it's, it, it skips to 30 years later. And then it kind of shows flashbacks of his childhood. I thought that was great. It showed a really good character development and uh, stuff. I really, really, really enjoyed that. Really good character development. Superman and General Zod beat the living shit out of each other in this movie. I mean, they really do. They throw each other through buildings. They blow each other up. 
they just whoop the shit out of each other. And I'm not I'm not, not exaggerating. Watch this movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Super there's a scene where Superman and General Zod were duking it out in the sky, they were flying. Superman punched him, he went flying, and then Superman caught up with him, punched him again, he went flying, and then, you know, General Zod just turned around and just duped it out with him, gave him his, and then it was just back and forth, back and forth. It was incredible. Uh, it, it almost, you couldn't catch your breath, there was just so much action going on, um, and there's people bitching and whining that there was, there, there was too much action. Come the hell on. People want action. People bitched about the last four or five Marvel movies because there wasn't enough action. I know this is DC, so don't... don't you know, if I didn't say that this is DC, you guys are going to give me shit about that. But the last four comic book movies, you know, people bitched about them not having enough action. And then we finally get one that has tons of action. You know, there are, of course, there are people that hated this movie. I, it don't matter how good a movie is. There's always going to be people out there that's going to hate it no matter what. But, um, yeah, this was just fucking awesome. It really was. It, I highly suggest you, you watch this. Go check it out. It'll probably be in theaters for another two weeks. So definitely go check it out. And I cannot wait to get it on Blu-ray. It's already, it's already at Walmart for the uh, pre-order. So I don't need to do that. But I do hope they either have a digibook. Because I would like to get the digibook if they have that. But... Um, I'm definitely going to get that. I might even get two versions. I might even get a steel book and a digi book and maybe possibly a DVD slash Blu-ray combo pack. But, I don't know. It depends on which slipcover looks cool, <clears throat> which cover looks the best, whatever. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. I, I just love this film. I really did. His suit was incredible. Uh, it really was. It had a, kind of an old school look in a way but then also he didn't have the red underpants over it it was just a straight up blue suit with the symbol here uh everybody knows that red cape really cool looking um and you know really awesome right russell crowe did a great job as Jarrell. I, I really enjoyed that sequence that's like the main thing that i keep thinking about over and over again was that sequence and his armor, oh my god, his armor, Jarrell's armor in this looked way, way cooler than General Zod's by far. I just really wish that <clears throat> he wore that armor more. Like, there were scenes where, you know, Superman was talking to Jarrell, and Jarrell was talking to him through a hologram. And then, you know, he was in the old ship in, in the Antarctica or Alaska or somewhere, and he ends up revealing the suit with the S on it that basically means hope in their on their world and he ends up revealing that suit and he ends up wearing it the scene where he takes flight whoa I fucking lost it I, I almost I had a huge smile on my face that scene was amazing you know at first he kind of jumped up and down a little bit he didn't he couldn't fly right away but then he put his fist on the ground and that that ground started shaking and cracking and then BAM he goes sky high and it was incredible breaking the sound barrier Man, that, that gave me chills. It really did. Um, really cool, guys. Um, yeah, the ending... Uh, I don't really want to give any spoilers out at all. But the ending, you know, was cool. I, I really did like the ending. I, there's nothing really I can bitch about this, about this film. There's really not. Um, the only thing that I can think of is that... And you know, the whole just the movie itself makes up for this little this little thing. But if General Zod on Krypton, now they said that Superman was the first natural born son in centuries. And most people there are created genetic or created in you know biological or not biologically, are like bioengineered. So they're all engineered to. Um, to basically protect every Krypton. But then, you know, I'm thinking, okay, so at the very end, when his plan, when General Zod's plan gets fucked, and all his army ends up getting killed, General Zod's left, and he ends up trying to kill Superman, you know, again. And I'm thinking, well, if he's engineered to, you know, protect Kryptonians, why is he trying to kill him? That's, my friend brought that up to me, and I, it kind of made sense, but then, you know, I don't know, it just... Yeah, but 
I don't, I don't really care. It was that good of a movie. I just didn't give a shit about that little the little detail. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Tell me what you guys thought of it if you've seen it. But I just had to throw. I had to had to get this review up. Um, sorry, it took me a little bit, but whatever. But that's it, guys. So uh, you've had a good time with the mastermind. <laughs>